Hello. Welcome to my channel. Uh, it has already been a day. I am on a patience. Um, I have already given the dog his warning of you are out of words for the day, so no more barking. Uh, he's doing his job, mind you. I know he's doing his job. Um, but if you are barking at a gnat five miles away, that's a little excessive. We're, we're taking it a little too far. We 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 don't mind that gnat five miles away, sir. No, we don't. Let him be. Just let him be. Let them. Let him be. Okay. So, um, I know I, I didn't do a video for Sunday. I might do it after this one, so you guys will be welcome to that because I saw we did protein balls. Um. But I wanted to get today's done before Nella and Priscilla got theirs done. So I could be first because they always get their done first before me now. Because uh, I'm not doing lives at the moment. So uh, let's, 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 let's get this. Oh, no, that's not what I want. I want this one. Um, I've already, yeah, sure. Jesus Christ. I have already spilled water. You know, tell my children, hey. Don't have food or water around, you know, your computer, your electronics. <laughs> what do I do? I spilled the water around the computer. And then it dropped onto the floor where my phone fell because I was like, oh, crap, I spilled water. And I dropped my phone. And then the puddle started running over to the phone because I had gone and ran to get a towel. So um, we're just going to stay inside for the day. And, and... And, and yeah, and plan tomorrow, plan for tomorrow to be a better day. So, Asher, sir, Asher's about to be out of words too. He's not meowing, but um, you're not supposed to speak. Okay. Okay. Let me turn the music off because we know we have to. Okie dokie. Let's do do. I feel like I'm, I haven't been kind of like out of sorts. Hold on. No, we're not good morning yet. Cause we got to see how fast you are. Cause we, we don't want you on normal speed. We got to watch you on like 1.25. Maybe we'll up it to two point or 1.5. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Let's. Starting with the damn music already. Hmm. Oh, we look pregnant today. Okay. Why are you? Uh, I do not understand the excessive need for oil. I don't. Why don't we just put? Doesn't she have a toaster? She does have a toaster because she puts the bagel in there. What are we having? We're having avocado toast, aren't we? With our, oh my God, how does she, how, how does she down all of this? Like seriously, how do we down all of this? <laughs> the little splash of coffee creamer, that's comical. Oh my gosh. She's doing the music on purpose. I just, I'm sure. If she does that whole avocado. Oh, she's not going to. Okay. That's impressive. Oh, but we got to have the honey. We don't like sweets, but. Okay. So um, I'm going to tell you right now, the sugar-free coffee creamer. Um, it's canceled out by the caramel mix that you put on there and the hot honey you put on there. Breaking for a piece of bread. We have an air purifier that is like so extra. <laughs> Anytime that we cook and don't put on the hood fan, it like, I mean, it's good. It's like definitely purifying the air, but it's, can you guys hear it? <laughs> oh my God. Who fucking cares? We've all heard of an air purifier before. Anyway, good morning from me and my avi toast. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I thought I would vlog today because we've got just like a bunch of 
you thought you were a vlog today. And isn't that your job? Just, just out of curiosity, you say this is your job. So kudos for you for getting Random up and vlogging. Random errands to do, things to do, places to go, people to see. So if you can see over there, right there, right there, um, I did get that same clear storage drawer organizer that I was originally going to get at Target, but put back. Um, so I really want to get the nursery closet organized because it is not. The exteriors. Why didn't she? Okay. I have I have watched a lot of people do organizing things. They wait until they have done the whole thing before they do the big reveal. Why didn't she organize the closet before the big reveal? If you hear something on the door, that is the dog. He wants in and he is not coming in right now because he is going to want to bark in two seconds after being in the house so he's in the shade he's fine it's he's a texas dog <laughs> he, he will come in shortly um i i i don't i don't get the the, the need to prolong to to like it to drag everything out why do we need to drag everything out? Like, why couldn't we have done this, the, the, the organization? Oh, because we need content. That's right. Okay. Never mind. For, just forget what I said. It's done. You guys have seen the nursery reveal. I'm so glad you love it. But it's definitely time to work on that. Um, I don't know about you, Alex, but I kind of saw the thumbs up and thumbs downs. Of the um, thumbs downs was like almost triple the thumbs up so i'm pretty sure not a whole lot of people liked it but that's that that you know what you do you boo closet so i don't know i don't know if we're gonna need another one of those um i'm hoping not <laughs> i do have a lot of like big baskets that we can store things in so we can do that as well I don't mind my hair i just threw it up in like a i haven't done anything really yet today so um i need to stop at the atm and get cash because tonight we are celebrating one of our friends 40th birthdays and doing like hibachi um, like at someone's house in their backyard. So it's gonna be super fun. I have to get cash for that. I'm also in charge of um, balloons. So I wanna get like. <laughs> They've made her the balloon person. They're not even letting her bring flub of food anymore, bring dessert. So she has to bring balloons. Clearly they didn't see the baby shower balloons. <laughs> <laughs> she she complained about the price of balloons and now she's going to be in charge of the balloons. Oh, God. <laughs> the big 4 oh, some special balloons. I have other, like, tasks I want to get started. I really want to get started with um, the hospital bag, especially now that I am 33 weeks. So I really want to get started on that, but I might save that for a whole separate vlog. I'm still kind of in the midst of, like, research on that. So, yeah, let me know. Actually, that'll probably be coming up in a different vlog. So... Please comment and let me know. That shirt is entirely too small. I'm I'm sorry. She's supposed to be a fashion, beauty, lifestyle vlogger. And her shirt is too small. We already know she wears her clothes entirely too small. But it really, this the sleeves really bother me. They do. Like even on my own shirt yesterday. Um and it's not because my arms are fat. It's because I have loose skin, mind you, um, that is still there. And it still takes up room in the shirt. I know that's a hard concept. You know, when people lose weight, the, the, if they, you know, um, were of the larger size, uh, like I was, almost 340 pounds. I just want to remind you, um, all of my weight was in my belly for the most part. I have chicken legs, no ass. Um, as someone graciously pointed out, like I don't see myself every day. Um, but um, the loose skin will still look, make it look like you are a little overweight. Um, I am still overweight, uh, but I am not morbidly obese. Uh, so there is that. Uh, but I do have the apron belly still because I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and it causes uh, all my weight to be in my belly. So my shirts seem a little snugger sometimes in the belly area when they're not actually, it's just me uh, that thinks they are, they, they look fine. Like I put on a 2X shirt yesterday and it was swallowing me. Um, 
So <laughs> I can wear an extra large and it doesn't look tiny like this, even with the extra skin on my arms what was like the essential in your hospital bag. I mean, I'm, from what I'm seeing, it's a lot of the same lists over and over and some are a little bit more like extra. They have more things for comfort, just extra items in general. And then some I see are more minimal and simple and they're like, you don't have to bring so much. The hospital will provide you with so much. So I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm going to teeter somewhere in the middle between like packing. extra. I've heard that you just kind of need to bring like slippers I mean, they pro they always provide you with those socks with the rubber grippies on the bottom, which are super sexy, by the way. Um, and then maybe a robe and like loose fitting clothes, I think is what a lot of my friends said they would take. Um, they didn't like overcomplicate things. They didn't overthink it, Alex. Remember how you went to, you know, to the back of your brain to keep from, what was that overthinking hack that you said? Um, yeah, you might want to work on that. Um, but like I said, minimize. They're going to give you a whole bunch of stuff. That's what they do. I mean, in the end, you probably pay for it. Well, you don't because I'm sure your insurance is paying for everything. But and this drink refrigerator sure is full of a lot of carbonated drinks that Yard doesn't like to drink. Extra unpacking light, but I don't know. I've seen some people do a whole carry-on size suitcase, and then some people just do kind of like a duffel bag. Um, I do know I want to bring my own pillow. Like, that is like the biggest. Wait, what did Kelly Strack put in hers, Alex? What did Emily Kaiser put in her bag? I'm sure we'll see that. I'm sure we can probably go to their channels and look. This thing I've seen, like, especially for hubby, like you, they want to bring their own pillow and stuff because it can get very uncomfy. So I don't know. <laughs> it's a little overwhelming. We'll figure it out, won't we? So we need my breakfast and then get ready for the day. Also, you guys, I am thrilled out of my mind that I'm giving birth right about before. What am I saying? Right about before? Right at witch's brew season. <laughs> um, I got the visa in the mail. The Witch's Brew is the best flavor of Lani. I obviously had not had any energy drinks throughout my pregnancy. I cannot wait to crack this open after be Um, you can't drink that if you're going to breastfeed Alex. And I'm pretty sure that you said you were going to breastfeed or at least attempt to breastfeed. So if you were going to take one of these to the hospital with you, uh, yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. Maybe. No? Thank you for checking. If you guys have another flavor, I think it sounds weird. It's caramel apple, caramel, caramel. I, I go back and forth. But it's the best Alani flavor. And it just makes me think of fall. So I fantasize about these. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Like the best timing. Actually, I should put these in the fridge so they can crisp up and marinate for next month. Okay. Oh my god, the fucking hand. So I know I'm not the only person who thinks this way, but like having plans tonight, I like <laughs> don't know what to do with my face now. I also will say the last couple days were like in the low 70s. Oh my god, the weather again. Y'all, when did she become the weather channel? Like, seriously. And not as humid and it was so nice. It made me feel like that little sprinkle of fall coming back in the air. <laughs> and now today it's like 85 and super humid. And I don't want to be uncomfy. I really don't. So I don't even think I'm going to do like real makeup tonight. Um, I, I just don't think I'm going to. I just don't think I have it in me to just be sweating it off. And I will say third trimester, um, a little hot flashy, a little, little hot flashy indeed. Um, it's new. It's different. The only things I've really started to notice over the last um, like hot flashy, it doesn't necessarily mean it's because you're pregnant. It's not a pregnant thing, Alex. It's, it's a health issue. Two weeks. And of course, I had um, a checkup with my doctor yesterday, the day before. I don't know. I wasn't vlogging. But I asked her. I was like, she's asked me new symptoms. I'm like, I'm kind of having hot flashes. My back hurts. feel a little more irritable. And she's like, all very normal. <laughs> like, sometimes it's mostly just after I, like, do the most because I really can't help myself. <laughs> like, I... <laughs> when I do the most, I just can't help myself. <laughs> most of scrolling on the TikTok get uh, caught up in like housework or cleaning or um, just like doing little little house projects. I don't know, moving around a lot. That's when like I get a little lower back pain. 
Um, sleeping, y'all, sleeping is getting simply annoying. Like, I don't look forward to going to bed. I really don't. Um, because I know I'm going to be up every couple hours going to the bathroom. Um, I'm getting real over the, like, rotisserie chicken all night. I'm going to the left, going to the right. I miss sleeping on my back, my belly. <laughs> um, and then getting hot. I don't know. I just, I don't mean to complain. I'm just sharing my, my updates here, um, of symptoms. But yeah, that's really about, it. like, <laughs> I'd say it's just, Y'all know why she's why she's listing her symptoms because somebody had said she hasn't said a word about anything. She hadn't complained. She hadn't said anything about any symptoms that she has. She should be doing this, this, and this. And huh. Okay, Alex. It's a very small, like fraction of the day where I'm not feeling my best. So that's good. I still have a lot of really good moments. I'm still able to like do a lot of my normal um, activity. Quick question. Sorry, I had it muted because I was chewing. Um, we know I don't like hearing out chew, so I'm not going to like y'all hear me chew. Um, does, does she actually know how her best might actually feel? Um, like seriously, does, does she know how best might actually feel? Just literally a genuine question. Okay. Activities. So can't complain really, honestly. Um, but also since it is so hot, I've been wearing my hair in a messy bun the last few days, which is why it looks like this. And you know what? It's going back up today. I actually will say I noticed a few comments recently saying that my messy buns have been on point. So I did do a very like quick tutorial in a vlog, but it wasn't in the title. So I'll put in the title of this one so nobody misses it. And I'm gonna do a high messy bun. The last time I think I did like a low parted middle one, middle parted one. So let me show you guys my current messy bun routine because I do have like a different way I've been doing it. So first I'm just putting it up to my. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to listen to her how to do a messy bun because it's a gross greasy bun is what it is. Um, I'd much rather watch classically Cassidy doing her bun. I, I, Kelly Strack probably already does one. I, I don't know. I don't watch her. Um, besides seeing bits and pieces. Uh, so her messy buns are not the most fantastic things I've ever seen. A desired placement. I like mine. If I'm going to do it high, I'd like to do it like pretty high up. Wrap around to your heart's desire. Oh, I'm not even in the frame. And then you just do that little, little folded bun where the rest is all kind of sticking out, right? Then I take the hair that's out split it in half. So I've got these two chunks and because I have layers now, I twist them just to give it a little more like stability. And then I just wrap them around the bun, grab another hair tie. And then I just grab. Y'all that's not a messy bun to me. That's uh, okay. Whatever. Grab it all together and wrap that one around. And that's how I do it. And then I might play with it. Sometimes it comes out perfect right away, but sometimes it does not. Like I'm going to take these pieces right here and tuck them into the hair tie. And it's so fun. It's like this almost knotted looking messy bun. That's that. It's so simple, so easy. And then I'm going to take some bobby pins because <laughs> hello. And I just pin up those hairs. In oh the my back. God, the breathing. Y'all, can you hear the breathing? And she just got her hair done. Y'all, they do her wrong. Probably give it a little, a little hairspray as well back there. So that is the messy bun tutorial. All right, now for my face. I'm going to keep it so simple. As we know, I get some redness on my face. This is my fave lately. Actually, I've loved it for the last few years, but I'm back on it. The Rescue Bomb, the Red Correct from Hero. If I don't want to bother with my like tinted SPF, I only use this instead. It's one or the other, really. But you just slowly kind of work it on your face. I'm telling you, it covers all the redness. It's kind of miraculous. And it just feels like you're putting on a little more moisturizer. Like, it's really a miracle cream. The power of color correction is wild. A little bit of excess I'll, like, do on my forehead. Oh, I just, oh, I didn't realize I had some on my other finger. But, yeah, I love this stuff. If you have um, redness or rosacea or anything like that, and you don't feel like doing full makeup. Wait, redness? It's not hyperpigmentation? Is that, have we removed that from our vocabulary? It, like, I like her eyebrows like this. They're calming. They're they're calm. They're they're not in your face while they're on her face. I, I just I when she does it with the big 
neutralizes the redness so well like so much better i'll put a link to this it is so freaking good and i know i'm not the only one with red problems going in with my usual nyx thicket stick it brow gel bruno here's the garage door he's like what the hell is going on who's there and lastly i have only been using so the brown tubing mascara the tartlet one that we got like i literally still have the black one in the box like i really like the dark brown it's so subtle like that is dark brown versus black um and it's not like i've been doing any like real full glam looks so like the dark brown has been so good love this mascara so i'm just gonna throw that mascara on and a little chapstick or lip gloss and then we are good to go okay so wait i just put on my mascara yeah the lip gloss just made it just accentuates the purple lips and now i'm like my face looks kind of flat <laughs> so i'm gonna do a little bit of the milk i can't help myself you guys the milk jelly tint and chill and i know it's funny like girl we just neutralized redness and you're putting more on but it's different <laughs> it's a different kind of redness <laughs> please tell me someone gets it it is kind of funny you know i know it's different right oh side note i also want to share oh my god it, what what the what the <laughs> an alien next to the creepy pumpkin doll hey guys i put the first ultrasound of baby that we got in here when he was so little so i don't know i thought that was like super cute to show him one day like look how small you were okay time to start our errands first i have some light bulbs i need to return from lowe's because we got the wrong kind so gonna run in and return these first Oh, this is just amazing. I have something in my eye. <laughs> it's messing with my contact. Now I just keep like blinking profusely, looking a little unstable. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know you guys told me they have the um, number balloons at Dollar Tree, but I want to look at the other like 40th birthday stuff here as well. They're not going to blow them up at the Dollar Tree. Most of them will not blow them up at the Dollar Tree if you don't buy their balloons. It, it, that's just what happens. They asked for balloons. They didn't ask for anything else, Alex. <laughs> so chaotic. Oh, no, it's in my bun. Oh, she got a three whole balloons. Three whole balloons. Alex, um, just, just so you know, when you buy the balloons, you can ask for them to put this bag over it. It looks like a clear trash bag. It helps. And you might want to grab them closer to the top so they don't fly around like that. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to be a big brother? That's a yes, isn't it? That's a yes, isn't it? You're gonna be the best big brother in the whole world. Yeah, you're ready for it. That is by far one of the things I'm most excited to see is Bruno as a big brother. <laughs> That's gonna be the most magical moment when they meet. It might be horrible, actually. Is Bruno gonna be changing the diapers? Probably. <laughs> I, I don't think it will be though, just because Bruno has met other family babies and did a really good job. So I'm hopeful. <laughs> hopeful that it goes well but yeah i ran my errands i took a few clips i also had to go to the bank and stuff um but i'm back home it's already one o'clock i have been taking my mornings extremely slow just being tired lately um so i'm very grateful and fortunate that i can take mornings slow oh my god she's sitting in the chair and deep breaths <gasps> like gasping for air how is that not concerning to her I mean, it's concerning to us. So how is it not concerning to her? But it makes the day goes by really, really fast. So I want to start working on his closet a little more now. And I also need to wash the mattress cover. I want to wash all of the um, pieces of the mattress that we got as well. Because like it can come apart and get washed. And then I'm probably, <laughs> this is so real. This is too real. I'm probably going to want to like take a little rest <laughs> before we go. It's around like 6, 6.30. We have to leave. So, <laughs> I know it's <laughs> silly, but I know the closet's gonna take some take some life out of me. So, 
All right, I refilled my water. Yes, you're excited. So uh, let's let's get started. I also just realized I have this weird stain. This is water here, but like some weird stain there. So I want to get everything sorted. You didn't have to point it out. None of us would probably have noticed it unless you pointed it out. Oh my God, that just so fucking boring. Like I would, had they done like the, like a, big version right there you know maybe a little scenery like the picture oh my god that would have been really cute if they had taken the scenery from the picture and like further extended it that would have been so cute and then she mm, okay i don't like the flying geese no okay wait they're not flying the floating geese because they are literally just floating on the wall not flying, they're floating on the wall. The way I've had this in here just for the aesthetics, <laughs> but um, yeah, I want to get. I would just love to have everything washed and done. So I love, love oh, this mattress is so cool. I've shared it before, but I've never showed you the inside. So look at the inside here. It's like this wired mesh, and it is fully breathable. If your baby turns face down somehow, because the older they get, they might start to roll, and they end up face down, they can breathe. Um, so that was a huge selling point for this mattress. And also, do you think she knows not to put blankets in the in the bed with him? That the mattress is not necessarily the issue with the whole breathable thing. Um, do you... <laughs> she makes my brain hurt. A lot of the baby mattresses we saw were like around hundred dollars. This one was two hundred. I know it's like. A little bit more double but it just felt like so worth it for that like peace of mind so <laughs> this is so funny can you guys like see that texture is so fun oh my god that's okay, it looks like something out of spongebob all right <laughs> and now i'm going to it does look like spongebob she can just hold it up to her and like use it as a frame of reference for her shape wash this and then i don't know if you saw in the last vlog i got this sheet cover for the mattress she knows she's going to need more than one right please tell me she knows she's going to need more than one sheet i know she says the baby is sleeping in the bassinet in the bedroom with them or with her but she knows she's going to need more than one one sheet right because they recommend doing a muslin one with it because it is super soft and also breathable but look at this cover if you didn't see the last vlog like I said, I got so lucky. I ordered, I think it's called Play, and the color of it, oh, wow, this is already so soft and it hasn't even been washed. Oh, it matches my accent pillow. Oh my God. The fact is she really cares about it, that it all matches, is mind boggling, mind boggling, mind boggling, that it, that, 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 that's the high point of it literally perfectly and it matches the little stripies on our geese um it matches the checkers on um the bookshelf it matches everything got very lucky with this oh and i also got more drawer organizers for the dresser oh my gosh the closet is starting to feel like a distant dream because <laughs> i'd rather do other things i'm determined to at least get it started okay i also got more drawer organizers got them in the wash. I read the directions for the sheet cover, the crib mattress cover, <laughs> and you have to wash it by itself, zip in cold water. So doing that one first. So I just got these drawer organizers on Amazon. They're like the ones that I already showed for the other drawers. <sighs> because I only have three drawers like really organized. And then I have three other drawers that are just full of stuff. So I love these drawer organizers. How could they just be full of stuff? I will link them. They're so easy breezy. I also realized I need to get a trash bin in here because so we have a diaper genie, but I'm finding that like a lot of moments I am like, I need a trash bin because I just have like a lot of miscellaneous stuff to throw away. So down here, I just have um, a couple of nighttime halo swaddles. I mean, this is so cute. Look at this from Kate and Lane. This was gifted a while back. So it's this like long nighty that you tie at the bottom and it came with a matching little cap, little nightcap, little, oh my gosh, like that is so, that is gonna be so dang cute. And then I already washed, this is just a big muslin blanket slash swaddle. And I need to plug this in. And I also have like 
a bunch of stuff. I'm going to wash all of this. Um, but like pacifiers, I already put on. These are from Itsy Ritzy. And then I love this. This is also from Itsy Ritzy. It's a double-sided pacifier holder. And you can put the dirty one on one side and the clean on the other. So I love that. Got nipple crack. And then also super recommended these diaper rash cream applicators. And then they just, I can't show you here, but they just silicone suction cup onto the surface. We've got a spatula to put diaper cream on your kid's butt. That's what we've come to. Use your fucking fingers and then wash your hands. Teethers, more pacifiers in this cute little case also from Itsy Ritzy. So I wanna organize those. So let's just take everything out first and see. I got um, a different size packet this time. So there's like a bigger section here and they literally just unfold like this. And they're great for like traveling too. And they just, so that way they're super easy to like collapse. So we've got those big ones. We've got these little square ones, another big one. And then I like these ones as well. These are like the perfect skinny length to go with the big one. Then you can kind of shove a few things in the sides here. Okay, so I just put sleep swaddles and stuff in here, pacifiers and stuff in here. And then I have all this excess, which I'm thinking I'll use when I clean out the closet. And then we have one extra here which I could potentially use to organize in here. All right, I brought in a chair, a comfortable ergonomic chair. So as you have seen, it's just full of stuff. Um, Yar is going to set up camera. We've got extra, extra geese. Gotta keep, gotta keep that. You can put the extra, you can put like random geese on the other side of the wall. Why don't you do that? Like put one by the door, like, like they're walking in the room. That would be cute. Oh, Extra geese, you never know. Live, laugh, love the geese. Silly goose energy. I think she just throws it in there. Like, that's something my child does. It's a lot of random stuff. Like, we've got, like, an extra shelf. Are we going to use it? I don't know. But I want to, like, put in the organizer, you know, stuff like this for... That goes in the bathroom. You know, things we're not using yet, but we'll be using. Like, we've got... Put them in the bathroom. The thermometer. You're going to want to use the thermometer if the kid feels hot within the first two weeks. We've got the brush. Like we've got just like a lot of stuff. And then got the Ergo Baby. Hopefully this is easy to put on. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Should try that on at some point. You think? Because you might be past the point of gift returning. Oh, wait. You'll just quote unquote donate it. Make sure I'm prepared. Because I, I do love the idea of having him just strapped on my chest doing stuff. Yeah, like there's just more pacifiers. We just we just got a lot. Oh, little sockies. I forgot about these. These are so cute. She just shoves all of that stuff in there and forgets about it. This is how non-excited she is. Oh, like multiple Why? Like what? Like what is this? <laughs> this closet has like low key just become like a catch-all drawer over the last two years living here. This will be fun. The teething bibs. Yeah, we just we've gotta get organized people. She's, she doesn't, she seriously underestimates how ready she really needs to be. Oh, there's the planes, trains, and automobiles there on the floor. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, people actually take sticker those stickers off. I I didn't realize that. I just left them on. Now, what is she gonna put in there? Like, see, she is bending an awful lot for someone who's almost eight months pregnant, and technically, she's in her eighth month. She has not completed the eighth month. So that's why I said almost eight months. Okay, that stuff needs to go to the bathroom. I'm, and that's all the diapers she has. <laughs> 
Oh, she's got them in the no. She doesn't even have them in the drawer because, or she has them in the drawer. But this box is not completely full because that right there tells you that that's not full. I am thrilled to report that the closet is done. Oh my gosh, that was a labor of love, but I feel so oh, relieved yeah, that it's all set. So, um, I kept I've had these baskets. I was wrong. It's a kid on the picture on the the box. It's for a while now couple years I think they're from at home um and then I have a small one there so over there I have the artwork I didn't use and the extra little geese for that then back there is just a little um water mat that my sister-in-law gave me and you're gonna want to do that because you're gonna want to have that water mat out because you the kid needs to do tummy time like pretty quickly here I have mine and yours carriers hand in footprint kit and then the hat lily got me this is in my mom era this one's actually empty over here so that's awesome maybe we'll put extra toys in there she's got car stuff why didn't she do the room in cars that would have made so much more sense ever and then over here i did end up using this kept these on top to remember that we're going to use them in here i have like just a bunch of excess stuff i don't need Oh, that needs to be in the, okay, so the bottle washers need to be in the kitchen. The bottles need to be in the kitchen. The, um, all of this needs to be in a little caddy um, and in the bathroom. Need yet, like I said. Um, and extra bottles in case the ones we got don't work. These came in like baby kits and stuff, like freebies. And then in here, extra wipes. And then in here, just random extras. And then I kept the diapers um, up top here. These are all ones. The newborns are in the drawers. We have a set of two and three um, from baby shower. Breast pump. <laughs> she is. <laughs> she just. <laughs> hmm. Think about it. The kid will probably be changed 12 times a day. In the first. Two months. That's not enough diapers nursing pillow doc tot which will not be for sleep only supervised awake time and then down there is um a play mat for tummy time it's not super it's not good for anything alex it was recalled for a reason back time all that but i'm gonna set that up when he's a little older so ta-da oh my gosh oh so relieved feels amazing many hours later all right guys many hours later i just took a nap <laughs> um no regrets on the nap um because i'm feeling much much rejuvenated that's not it but i'm gonna have to redo my bun we gotta leave in about 10 minutes i'm not gonna be doing more makeup <laughs> i thought i might consider it but really no need it's still like really really humid and i don't want to sweat also like none of my pants fit besides like yoga pants and stuff like that so i throw on this dress that i wore on our baby moon i think it's from nordstrom didn't she rack. didn't she have like tons of dresses to wear why is she talking about wearing pants she's like oh i found this dress that i wore on the baby moon you had all of those dresses that you did a haul in that were going to be great to get you through the bump and i might swap out my necklace for a different one i've never had hibachi like at someone's house it's like such a cool fun concept so i'll see if i can get some clips and show you guys all right now i'll swip through all right pretty good bun pretty pretty good i'm gonna leave these like little messy pieces down so we got hold on so we got two bun tutorials in one vlog we got a two part we got a two for um, pin up these back pieces again also i was watching back footage and i i got like blonde bobby pins because i thought it like matched my hair i forgot the underneath of my hair is brown <laughs> so it's just like the most obvious color bobby pin against my brown hair i forgot I my hair i forgot my hair was brown I forgot my hair was brown in the back. Okay. I'm a little bit red here again. I think I like sweat all of it off earlier. And then like a little more mascara. All right, let's go. <laughs> That's not annoying at all. Oh, no. What the hell is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh no. That 
Thanks. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, we have to have something sweet. Thank you. Okay, that's all for this time. Thank you for watching. Oh, it's so exciting. So exciting. All right. Yeah, boring as usual. And I'll repeat it again. Why, why, why did we have to wait for the, why? Um, so, uh, go like the video. Find me on Instagram, Country Shade Tree. Um, Priscilla and Nella will probably have theirs up later. I know Nella, both of them are busy at work. So, I uh, know school started. My kids went to school today. So, um, I know it's just, sorry. Oh, good God. Where's my Kleenex? Um, uh, so, you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday. And I will hope to see you on Thursday. And don't worry. We'll do lives again soon. Just we're getting the back fixed. I can, I, I can feel a little bit of twinging going on. So, we're going to get up and walk around for a little while. Okay. Uh, so, again, go like the stream to like the stream. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, make sure you can leave comments. And, again, I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.